Welcome to my YouTube channel. The primary purpose of this vlog is to inform, educate and entertain viewers and subscribers. Please watch the entire vlog and remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. Today's topic reads. Tiger King Joe Exotic. Claims prison guards tied and beat him unconscious. Joe Exotic is speaking out about his alleged 2020 beatdown at the hands of eight correction officers in an Oklahoma jail. The Tiger King star released a new audio clip on Twitter, explaining what allegedly happened to him, in grisly detail, during an apparent phone convo from behind bars. Joe angrily says, They beat the F out of me, eight guards, tied me to a chair butt naked, put me in a shower so long that I blacked out and I woke up with skin off my arms from the straps. As we reported, Joe claimed in court docs that he was sexually assaulted while tied to a chair and beaten by jail guards with his arm flesh removed. Joe was petitioning then-President Donald Trump to pardon him in 2020, after he was convicted and sentenced to 21 years in prison. The alleged assault occurred at the Grady County Jail in Oklahoma, where Joe was being held during his federal murder-for-hire trial. At the time, a rep for the jail declined to comment, but a law enforcement source told us Joe made the whole thing up. Correction officials found no proof of an attack on any of the facility's recorded cameras. We contacted Joe's attorney, John M. Phillips, who would only say the audio referred to an old incident. Joe Exotic is a well-reputed animal breeder from the United States of America. He is also famous for being the managing director of the Gerald Wayne Exotic Animal Memorial Park. This place is known as the home for the great and almost extinct big cats. He has been an ambitious businessman since he set up the park, starting with only two tigers, a buffalo, a monkey, and a mountain lion. His work is far much commendable because he is a great American icon who appreciates nature by protecting wildlife. The celebrated Tiger King has also participated in some documentaries showing on famous television channels. He has been in Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness, a documentary held in 2020. The celebrity has been a host of Louis Theroux's America's Most Dangerous Pets documentary. His zoo has been a source of employment for most young people who were drug addicts and homeless in Oklahoma. Birth name, Joe Schreibvogel. Nickname, Tiger King. Celebrated name, Joe Exotic. Date of birth, March 5, 1963. Age, 59 years old. Horoscope, Pisces. Place of birth, Kansas, United States of America. Eye color, gray. Hair color, blonde. Weight. 78 kilograms. Height, 5 feet 11 inches. Marital status, married. Religion, Christianity. Nationality, American. Instagram, Joe underscore exotic. Joe was born on March 5, 1963, in Kansas City, United States of America. He was born in a family of four children and raised by parents who held a strong Christian background. However, when his father learned that Schreibvogel does not have a straight sexual orientation, he was infuriated. He forbade Joe from attending his funeral ceremony only because of his sexuality. Exotic's elder brother, Gerald Wayne, accepted him and was involved in many businesses. In 2000, he purchased two tigers whom he named Tickles and Tess. The tigers reproduced and gave life to the current zoo. The ambitious animal breeder buys horses and feeds them alive to the tigers. His passion for wildlife has inspired most of his followers on different social media platforms. His work has been a great inspiration for most activists protecting animal life globally. Meeting with Carol Baskin, who is well reputed as Mother Teresa of Cats, is one of the achievements in his lifetime. However, his attitude towards Carol changed when he publicly endangered her on a famous online show. Both animal rights activists continued their disagreements to the extent that Joe hired someone to kill her for $3,000. Unfortunately, the celebrated Carol's death plans failed because the federal government protected her. G. W. Zoo owner has also participated in the music industry as the Tiger King show is aired. During the show, he appears to be a country song musician. However, according to some sources, the great secret behind Joe's songs is that he is not the writer. He asked Danny Clinton and Vince Johnson to be the writers and organize everything necessary for music production. Funny enough is that Exotic does not even know how to play guitar despite featuring in most songs holding a guitar. It is also disclosed that he is always lip-syncing during the production of any song. He used her kitty kitty, and I saw a tiger to throw insults at his rival, Baskin. Joe Exotic for President The celebrated Tiger King has also been an influential politician in America. He is widely recognized as Joe Exotic for his political career. In 2016, 
he became an independent candidate running for the presidency as a Colorado resident. However, he got only 962 votes nationwide. He continued taking part in politics and contested for a gubernatorial seat in Oklahoma in 2018. The celebrity did not win after ranking the third with 664 votes. He has not been involved in politics since then. The celebrity is proud to be openly regarded as gay in America. When he was only five years, he was raped by an elder boy who created in him the desire to be sexually attractive to the same gender. He came to accept himself after realizing that it was difficult for him to rectify what had happened to him. His life has been challenging, especially after word went round that he is gay. Joe's family did not appreciate the fact that he publicized his sexuality, and they even rejected him. Living as an outcast has taught him the secrets of life in a hard way. He was first married to Brian Ryan, who passed away in 2001, after contracting HIV, AIDS. Exotic suffered from depression with fear of victimization from the public that he was also suffering from the disease. Years after recovering from depression, he got engaged to John Finley. However, their relationship did not last for long before separating. He got engaged to Travis Maldonado, who was involved in an accident on October 6, 2017. He did not survive the accident. Joe, the animal breeder, was antagonized after the death of his second love partner. However, he overcame the situation in December 2017, after marrying Dylan Passage, his current partner. Joe Exotic wedding with Dylan was attended only by close friends and family. The couple seems to be enjoying the marriage life and managing the zoo. Tiger King's great ambition was to be more recognizable than his competitor Carol Baskin. This prompted him to change the name of his zoo from GW Zoo to Big Cat Rescue Entertainment. However, Baskin was annoyed and planned to sue Joe Maldonado for his unfair competition. With the help of her spouse, they petitioned a case against Tiger King in court that cost Joe $1 million. When he was declared bankrupt, Carol thought that it was an excellent opportunity to exploit him financially. He had executed plans of murdering Baskin using an FBI informant who had hidden his identity. Furthermore, the informant learned that Exotic mistreated the animals by killing more than five tigers without any government permit. Hiring an FBI agent to undertake a murder case endangered his life, forcing him to suffer the consequences in court. During an interview at the Oklahoma City TV station, Exotic defended his decision to kill the tigers by saying, I put five tigers to sleep because they were in pain. They were in pain. They had toenails coming out of their ankles. They had no teeth. They had exposed root canals. In the year 1985, he tried to commit suicide. Joe Exotic suffered from a leg injury forcing him to use a walking stick to support his right leg. He likes referring to himself as the gun-toting cowboy with a mullet gay to the public. Shribe Vogel's name of the zoo is in memorial of his long-gone brother, Gerald Wayne. He has over 14.6 thousand subscribers on his YouTube channel. He used to wear four earrings in one ear. It was found that he shot two tigers in the head to make space for new ones. He always used to wear a cowboy hat. Joe loves guns, and when he was out of jail, he always carried a revolver with him. He has also been spotted shooting bullets through carbine. In January 2020, Joe Maldonado appeared in court with a fine case of mistreating wildlife and abuse of government authority. He was reported to have killed five tigers back in 2017 and sold some cubs but claiming to have donated them. The celebrity was also judged for his alleged plan to execute the murder of Carol, his business rival. The court sentenced him for 22-year imprisonment for all the crimes that he committed. However, he still accuses the government of false court proceedings and detention. Fortunately, he had previously sold his zoo to another businessman who will be managing it. How much is Joe Exotic net worth? The celebrated American icon has worked hard throughout his life to ensure his family has a good life. He has been a good manager of the GW Zoo who has managed to earn a huge amount of money. The celebrity's gross net worth is estimated to be more than $10 million. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. May the divine grace of Almighty God be upon you and your family. Remember, to love your neighbor as you would love yourself. It is a divine requirement attainable through kindness. Spread the love. Thank you.